Hey Stone Advice fans, welcome back. This is episode two of Alpha Camp Snacks. Today I'm gonna to show you how to use the save selected command. Let's go ahead and jump right on in. All right guys, check it out. We have just opened up Alpha, the Alpha Cam Snacks Project Sample Kitchen. And you'll notice we've got a kitchen here and we've got two cut batches that I created. I need to isolate and separate these cut batches for further processing. I need to tool path these, right? So instead of deleting everything on the screen and doing a save as, which is what I see a lot of guys doing out there, there's a command called save selected. It looks like this, it's right here. This is actually an add-in, it doesn't come stock. So you have to go to your, you're gonna to have to go to your add-ins, go down to file, it's right here, and select save selected items to a new drawing. And that'll turn that feature on. Then you're gonna to have to modify your toolbar and add that, okay? But assuming you've done all that, you just, it's very simple to do. You just come up and hit Save Selected, draw a selection box around what you want to save, in this case, the first cut batch. I'm going to browse to the desktop where I have my master job folder. Inside the master job folder, you're going to see the three projects that I have going on right now. And then this one's called Alpha Camp Snacks. So when I pop this open, right, when I click on this, you can see the master batch right here. That's the, that's the master file. I click on this, it comes in here and it puts all this crap. Rather than retyping everything, I'm just simply going to hit Backspace. And I'm gonna call this Alpha Cam Snacks Kitchen Cut Batch 1. And I'm gonna go ahead and save it. Boom. Okay, now I'm gonna come up here to do the same thing again. Save selected, select Cut Batch 2, right click to accept. And you'll see there's Cut Batch 1, there's the Master Batch. I'm gonna select Cut Batch 2, come in here. So call it number 2, and save it. And it's really just that simple. Let me show you the, how this all actually works in the real world for you guys that haven't seen it. So what happens now is we can go ahead and close this project. And now that the project's closed and we look inside our master job folder inside the project called Alpha Camp Snacks, you're gonna see we have cut batch one, cut batch two, and the master batch. So let's go into cut batch one and I'll show you how fast and easy this is. At least if you're running a SASO. I don't know the workflow for other, other systems, but if you're running a SASO, it's very simple. Just zoom out, go to your SASO saw tools, select prepare parts, and draw a box around the part. This command, when you select it, is gonna move the job to zero, zero. It's gonna run join, it's gonna run project 3D to 2D, it's gonna run common line removal, and it's gonna identify any loose geometry that might be hiding somewhere that could cause you problems when you start tool pathing. Now I'm just gonna left click, it goes to zero, zero, it gives me the square footage, I zoom out a little bit, take a look, make sure everything makes sense, insert the saw table, in this case I'm gonna pick a 3CM table, boom. And we see our work volume come in. Now I'm just gonna simply hit parts, make sure I got the blade and finger bit selected that I want. I'm gonna hit cut parts. Now I'm gonna run my simulation, make sure everything makes sense. We'll do it fast and dirty. Looks lovely. And the simulation at this point, I would send it out to the saw by using output NC. And now you just close and save the file. And that's all there is to it, guys. Um, the next video we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to actually modify and customize your toolbar. Look forward to seeing you. Have a great week. Be safe out there.